Hey guys, today we're going to review the Gundam HG144 scale Hyakuri from Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. So, first, let's take a look at the details of this. It's great that it has a stand, so that's pretty cool. It has a stand for the backpack thing here and for the normal stand. So, I have it in this in her flight mode so here it is in the flight mode has some nice details on the head there as you can see nice backpack there here's the guns two of those there's the front they got some tubing right there this is very relevant on the Gundam Iron Blooded Orphan series cause they uh, most of the mobile suits have some tubing or some pistons on it, so it's a pretty cool touch there. There's the back, there's the bottom, there's a little thing here. I think that's, I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool. And there's the uh, legs, some really, really thin. Um, so, yep, that's another problem it's really back heavy so oftentimes if you do not use the stand it will fall over right so so that's a nice touch that they put the stand in there and there is the acre so now let's take a look at the um, when you put these out Let's take a look at the feature. You can move the hand down like so. And now you have a normal random arm with the, the gun. So for this review, I'm gonna put it on this stand so it will not fall over. This is the arms. This is the gun. And the gun is actually like this. But to transform it, you just flip this and put this to the side. But since we're done with that, you just peg this right here. And that's a tight connection right there. Then you put this right there. Then it's, the backpack is done. Or you can leave it on the flight mode. And we got that going there. So, and another feature this Gundam has is that, let me pull this other arm here again, let me put this gun right there, fix that, put that right in the hand. So as I was saying, when you... You can also get this off. Then it comes with these two adapters on either side of the arm. Then with these you can put them on here. And that's a closer look at that. So you can, oh that's the wrong one, you can put this right here, you can ping that in, so, no it's like this, yeah, then you can peg it on the back of the arm right here, so you can push this edge here into the arm there if it's the right side yep Let's try the other side yeah like this like that then you just put this right here that 
I'm just gonna move this right here. Right there. So there you have it. You know what? Let's remove the gun because it's hindering that. It's more easier like this. Yeah. So. It's a very complicated type suit. So. There you go. That's the shield and the gun when it's put in. So now, it's, that's all the accessories it comes with, fortunately. But that's okay. And now let's talk about the articulation. First, you can rotate the head side to side a little bit because this is quite it's hindering it quite a bit. You can move it up that much and down that much. Anyway, uh, this is a straight build, so this is what you'll get on when you build it and add, adding some paints on it. So, this is the backpack. You can move this up and down. You can remove that, of course. You can then, I will just remove it on this tank right here. It's pretty convenient. You can, it has a double jointed elbow. You can rotate at the bicep. This can move forwards and backwards. And the wrist is on a ball joint, so you can do forward and backward and side to side. On the torso, you can rotate it on the upper torso. You can it has an up crunch down at that that much and up that much. Then you can move the feet up this high. It's pretty good for articulation. You can move it backward that high. And you it is on a ball joint right there and a piston right there. So you can move it side that far. It has double jointed knees. You can go that far. Then you can move the feet up and down and a rocking pivot so overall this is a figure i mean a model kit that you should definitely buy because it's awesome and the design i really like that's why i bought it but if you are a fan of the high grade iron blooded orphan series this is a must get and if you're just a kind of collector I think it's pretty good, but beware that this is top heavy. And if you really liked it without the stand, well, you're gonna have to make some problems, uh, make some issues with that, cause this is back heavy because of that back, I mean that back thing there, back back back. So if you did like this review, remember to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.